students of class 10 CBSC your social science examination is approaching very fast and you are very much curious about the questions because this year question pattern is changed so uh, I have come with another chapter and it is very important the chapter is uh, nationalism in India uh, from this chapter I have uh, here given uh, two types of question question marks three and five and in my previous video I told that for question number three you have to write within 80 words word limit you must follow and for the five words you have to write within 120 words so you must follow the word limit and at the same time another very important thing is that you must uh, write the key points these key points are very important if you write for and follow the key points then you'll get the good marks let us discuss how to write this question answer now the first question is what is nationalism how did it grow in India now nationalism means it is a feeling of oneness among the people of a nation so we can say that nationalism is a feeling of oneness among the people of a nation. The next question is, how did it grow in India? So in India, how this nationalism developed? This nationalism developed in India, uh, what were the uh, reasons behind it? Number one, the oppressions of the colonialism. Colonial oppression, number one point. Second point is that this nationalism developed because of introduction of Western education. And third point is that this nationalism uh, developed in India because of the past history, glorious history of India, some writers they wrote about that. And another thing is that this uh, uh, nationalism also developed because our development in transport and communication system. These points you have to write when you are writing this answer. So uh, next question I am going, what is Satyagraha? and how did Mahatma Gandhi introduce it in India? Satyagraha means it is a non-violent resistance against the uh, uh, injustice done by the British people and started by Mahatma Gandhi. Now this uh, uh, Mahatma Gandhi introduced uh, in India this um, Satyagraha why? What was the reason behind? Number one Mahatma Gandhi wanted to unite all the Indians through dharna and at the same time uh, with a peaceful agitation against the injustice of the B British people, oppressions of the British people, number one. Number two, he believed that this uh, non-violent uh, uh, policy is the powerful tool of India's than the violence. And third point is that Mahatma Gandhi, uh, he uh, of course uh, believed in non-violence at the same time he wanted to uh, bring the the conscience of the British people uh, through this uh, uh, honesty and the truthfulness that uh, uh, in the conscience he wanted to show that they are doing some wrong against the Indians that is the third point now next is what was Rowlatt Act why was it introduced Rowlatt Act was introduced in 1990 hurriedly in the British uh, uh, Imperial Legislative Council and this act was introduced uh, to repress the Indian political activists. Actually this particular uh, act gave the enormous, enormous power to the uh, British government. In the hand of British government uh, they, could, uh, they could detain the, uh, uh, the political prisoners for two years without any trial. This is called the uh, Rowlatt Act and why it was introduced? It was mainly introduced because under the leadership of Gandhiji that time started political agitation and political activities more. British government wanted to suppress it. That's why they introduced all of a sudden Rowlatt Act. That is the reason why. Now next question number four. Describe the incident of Jallianwala Bagh massacre. Very important question. Uh, this question is most important question from this chapter. 
Jalalabad massacre means on 13th April 1919, some uh, a crowd of the villagers they came to Amritsar to join in uh, fear, and they were unaware of that the martial law had been imposed in that area. They were gathered over there, and the area was surrounded by high wall and only one uh, entrance point. General Dyer thought that they broke the martial law and he came with force and blocked the exit point and started open fire and hundreds of Indians killed. This uh, pathetic and uh, uh, horrible situation in the Jalalabad is called the Jalalabad massacre. Very important question. Now next is why did Gandhiji start non-cooperation movement in India? Gandhiji himself he wrote one famous book uh, that is Hind Swaraj. In this book he mentioned that uh, India under British rule because Indian people is cooperating the Britishers, British people. That's why they are able to capture India and they are in India for a long time. So in order to throw out the British rule, number uh, most important thing is that this uh, uh, not to cooperate with the British. And if the Indians refuse the British and British rule will be collapsed within one year and Swaraj will come back. With this view or aim, he introduced non-cooperation movement in India. Now, this question answer you have got. So, in this way, you will write down point wise. Now, next is, why did non-cooperation movement become unsuccessful later? Non-cooperation movement... Uh, was unsuccessful. The reason is number one, uh, Indian people they started using khadi, but the cost of khadi cloth was uh, more than the uh, machine made clothes. And number one point, uh, so the poor Indians could not afford it. And there was no other way. They started purchasing against the British goods. Number two, many people joined uh, with this non-cooperation and they led the job of the British government. But that due to lack of the Indian institution, they, they, they had to come back to the British rule uh, under the British uh, uh, government's uh, different, uh, different uh, uh, in industries or the institution because there was no substitute. And uh, the number uh, third is that this uh, uh, Khadi movement actually, uh, when he started this uh, non-cooperation uh, with the Khadi movement, this non-corporation movement, he said that Swaraj will bring, but the Swaraj meaning uh, some other followers of Gandhiji uh, took it in other way. They thought that to fulfill their fulfill their uh, demand, they took the, the violent path. And as a result, Gandhiji dis, uh, deserted and he declared to stop the uh, particular uh, movement, non-corporation movement. That's why it was an unsuccessful letter. Now see the students. These are some questions I have given. Many more questions are there. And I am uh, uh, ready with this question to explain this exam if you want to get more marks. First of all, you have to know the answer pattern, question pattern, and the point was writing. And the limitation of the point. So, uh, this video you have seen. And if you want more video, then you subscribe and like and share to your friends, they will be benefited and they will be uh, getting high marks. So, so for seeing this uh, particular video, thank you very much, wish you all the best and uh, if you have any com particular questions and uh, doubt, then you write down below the comment box and I will give you back the uh, next video quickly. Thank you.